Dumelang, 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 guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome if it's the first time. My name is Kokito, and I do hope that you're gonna be a part of the family or the part of the channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Please, please, guys, do subscribe to the channel. Um, in this channel, honestly, I don't have I don't have a niche. That's what people call it. I don't have a niche. I just post my life as it is. I post things that makes me happy, things that makes me sad. I just post basically, I don't want to say my life because this is not all that my life is, okay? Today, <laughs> my hands are so ashy. Let me, let me moisturize my hands. I'm coming, guys. Let me moisturize my hands. I like to use my hands when I talk, so if I see that I recorded this whole video, and my hands are dry i'll be so mad at myself so let me just moisturize them hey yo would you move i shall you know what man one thing about would you move god is good can i get Mazalani at the back to say all the time all the time god is good what <laughs> guys do you know what now god is good let me just say let me just say that god is good and and god will put you in places where he wants you to be now and what i've learned in my own life is that you can't actually there's a lady that made a video i don't know if i can um insert the video here i will insert it another thing i'm learning in this season is the fact that you cannot pray cry scream um your way out of a season if it is not time for that particular season to be up then it simply is not time and i think a lot of the time we think that we can manipulate our way out of a season we can rush our way out of a season if we fast more if we pray more if we go to church more if we get into our word more and there are times where it's just simply a season that you need to go through for development sake that video she's basically saying you are where you are supposed to be you are where god wants you to be and be it like a good year for you a, a good place a good season in your life a bad season a rainy season a stormy season whatever season of your life you find yourself in that's where you are supposed to be and there are lessons in that season of your life that you you should take out of that season and there are some like character developments that should happen for you in that season do you get it so basically the lady is saying you can't pray yourself out of a season you can't fast yourself out of a season if it's not time for you if it's not time for god to move you to the next thing if god feels that you haven't um learned what it is that he wants you to learn in a specific season or the whatever but if god wants you to be in that place in that season best believe you will be there until God decides that it is time for the next move, right? And then the other thing that I want to say, the other thing, this this is this is um, something that a dear friend of mine, um, who was my my colleague, um, told me that. Um, what did she say? Let me remember her words, because like that gave me so much. I mean, in, a, in as much as like I, I didn't want to believe it and hear it at first. Now, when I think of it, I'm like, mm, she was right. So she was basically saying that um, you are where you are. Oh, no, no, no. What she said was um, God will keep you where you need to be to learn certain things. No, but I think I'm not saying it right. Um, oh, no, she said, until you learn the lessons that God intended for you to learn in that area or in that place that you are in right now, if you are resisting to learn and to learn those lessons, then you're never going to leave that place. 
so yeah like it's just a, yeah you know, i'm i'm saying all these things and i'm very happy for myself i'm very happy in my life i did like i mentioned it in the video that i posted recently i'm so happy in my life and it's not because like i'm in a relationship or like i'm my my i have a uh, or because of work or because of like i'm just genuinely happy like i'm choosing to be happy i'm choosing that even when things seems very gloomy even when i'm not sure of certain things even when like i see that i'm lacking there is happiness in my life like there's things to be grateful for there's things to be happy about and so i'm choosing that i'm choosing that and i'm running with it and i think that's the theme of my life like to be to be happy to make myself happy to romanticize myself you know what ne? but guys listen ne? Yo, i'm so happy i'm so happy um so the reason i'm recording this video is because today i had a very pivotal shift in my what i say in my in my life let me just say in my life no in my work life um this week was very heavy on me i am very tired it's still january like people just came back from leave and others like their companies were closed and whatever and now they've gotten back to work they feel like energized and whatever for some of us we've been working like i've been working for quite some time and i haven't taken any leave and so now i feel so tired i feel so drained like every time i wake up today i woke up and i'm like it's not friday oh my god so you can imagine like having to go through the day and thinking oh, i must come back again tomorrow and do the same thing it's exhausting it's tiring it's yeah i felt very tired but anyway um what happened today was yeah like i i was feeling like that i was feeling like that and I, i'm very tired very fatigued like you know when you are so tired that you start now getting like sicknesses like now your joy is so but my joy is so because i think i'm i think i'm teething like i think i think yeah the one tooth is coming out and it's so painful but anyway you get like mild headaches you get um there's just because there's just a lot that happens right and then today oh guys you know what ne? god the ways of god i can never understand so there i am i'm dragging myself to work and then i get to work we do the the normal things that we do and our hod announces that oh actually um there's a surgery that the they, they're performing and um they've requested if an um if one of the the staff members can can join the surgery you know like people were so excited and they're like yeah i want to do it i want to do it like and i'm like that would be a cool thing like you know when you are tired like you just hear things and you don't you just hear things and i don't i guess you don't fully register what is being said i don't know um but yeah i did hear what they said um i'm not saying that i don't listen um i did hear what they said but like i just i, I didn't have that excitement or that energy you know and it happened that I'm the one that has to now go and observe the surgery. So it was a tendon transfer, a triple tendon transfer, guys. And it was my first time going to theatre ever. Uh, I haven't been to theatre to like observe any surgeries or stuff like that. Um, in our our scope of practice, doesn't. Well, in school we're not really taught that, but like for people in private practices. Um, they do go observe surgeries and stuff like that and then like with the surgeon they play um, they discuss the plan of care going forward post-op right and then guys I went there and it was just so cool just being in there it was just so cool it was so cool like it was so cool you know if you if you 
obviously like if you if you did if you in help success you did anatomy it's just so cool that like when they open you see all that anatomy and like all those muscles extensor can be what 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 you know let me let me not say like it is like when you see the muscles let's say it's um flexor <sighs> policies longest um extensor copy radialis okay let me not put in these terms because either way i i don't know maybe you don't understand i don't know but when you see the muscles and you see the muscles and they working on them and they're trying to like oh that was the coolest thing let me tell you that was so cool that was so cool um and then they did the surgery um i was just there looking and i'm like wow this is so cool for me that was a reassurance it was like a defining moment because it kind of like now it, it was like it was more like god telling me this is kind of where i want you to be this is where i like this is what i want you to think of this is like you know going forward this is what you should focus on excuse me and I and I and I and I stood there and I'm like, yeah. Mm. It was so cool. It was it was it was the coolest thing ever, ever. And you know what, Nay? One thing about surgeons, they are smart people, and good surgeons. Oh, that man, um, like he was just so precise. And oh my goodness. I think if you're going to be if you're going to be a doctor if you're going whatever it is that you want to be even if it's not in the health in the health faculty i think you need to do things that you love that you enjoy so that you can do them perfectly i i believe that people do have jobs like you do half of a job because you're not happy or you don't like doing something but if you really 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 love doing something you enjoy it I, I i believe totally that you're going to like even if you do the same thing five times a day you will make sure that it's perfect every single one of whatever that you're doing is perfect and yeah man that was just so cool i'll show you guys the clips of how excited i was alin said that so i was saying i got invited to observe oh, why is the lighting so bad in here i'm sorry but i got invited to observe a tendon transfer <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Um, wow that was so nice it was so nice it was very cool and i'm so happy and i'm glad that i had this experience because it kind of like ignited something within me um maybe something that was being taken away by the work itself like it's a very fast-paced work and it's a very fast-paced environment um and personally I'm exhausted I'm tired um, but I feel like this that moment like it ignited something in me and yeah I, I oh, 
And that's very frustrating. But anyway, um, I basically just came here to say that. To say today I had my most, my defining moment. Um, <sighs> oh. Anyway, yeah, I'm so happy. Um, <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I am, I am. I'm, I'm truly happy. Like, I'm very happy with the way that like 2024 is unfolding with the way that god is communicating with me even if it's through the smallest of things i feel like god is always communicating with us um it's just up to us to be listening or observing like the communication that god is sending out to us and yeah i think today i was i don't know if i should say i was present because i don't feel like i was I don't know, but I, I, I feel like, I don't know, I, you know what, ne? there's just, let's say, I didn't say, so when I say I don't know, it's, I don't know how to express it in words, but it's a feeling, yo. I don't want to, I don't want to be deep and all that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's all that I came here to say. Um, and I just want to say also that, like, I've been. I think I'm also happy. I'm happy for myself. I'm happy that I'm happy. I'm happy for myself because I, I never knew or thought i could be as depressed as i was the previous year 2023 was such a shitty year for me um nothing about it like i was not happy um and you know when like you grow into not being happy it becomes who you are like I was very, I was very isolated, if I can say that. Like, I was, yo, everything was just hard. And, yeah, life was just lifing, like, from every, every angle that you can think of. Financially, um, my mental health was to, like, yo, work-wise, um, there was just a lot. There was just a lot happening, and and I go kiwan, kiwan, and you have to like show up. Excuse me. And it was, it was, it was, it was a, yo, it was the most heaviest year of my life. I've never, I've never like you know, some things you think they are very seasonal. Like you don't, you, you know, as much as you're gonna experience like. Um, drought for a certain period of time you don't think that you're gonna sit in that place for so long yo i was so depressed last year like thinking about it like i love this happiness for me i love it and i wish that god can can see me deserving and like keep on adding to it do you get it you deserve a beautiful life you deserve love you deserve joy you deserve peace you deserve happiness you deserve all of the good things um and the good that you give out into the world i hope and i believe that god will multiply that back into your life and i just want to say that um good things does not have to be good and beautiful things don't have to be materialistic um i mean as we speak right now my account is like what wait do you get it but i'm i'm the most happiest like i'm broke i'm broke now at the moment i'm broke but i'm 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 the most happiest like i am the most happiest kind of guys let me tell you yeah <laughs> i'm gaining unnecessary weight <laughs> 
So yesterday, was it yesterday? Yesterday, um, I like good wording. Ne, I work in a hospital. Good wording. the weight you can like weigh yourself. It's mainly for patients, but I mean, if I see a scale, I don't know, but I'm that person. When I see a scale, I'm gonna want to step on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then, like every now and again, I would step on the scale, you know, and like I used to be happy with my weight, <laughs> with my weight, and then, um, that was December. The last time I weighed myself was December, like to uh, the beginning of December day. And then I weighed myself, and then okay, like life carried on, whatever. And then December happened, and now, so yesterday, just yesterday, I stepped on the scale. Oh my god, I've gained two kilograms. What? I'm just shocked, and I'm processing that. Like, how did that happen? But anyway, like, it was December. I have, I'm not doing gym, I'm not. Um, fully back onto running. Um, I eat everything and anything. Like you know, like I'm just, I'm just living life. I'm just living life. I'm living my best life. I don't care. Well, not that I don't care, but like I don't. If I want to buy ice cream, if I want to buy whatever, best believe I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna enjoy it, right? So then that was yesterday. Um, when I checked the scale today, I check again. And adding to the two kgs from the previous day, now it's another plus one. Oh my god! So now it's like I've gained three kilograms, guys. Am I not dying? <laughs> I know it's like someone would say it's it's just three kilograms. What is three three kilograms? I mean, it's a lot if I'm gonna keep accumulating kilos every week or every now and again, and. I don't want that so i will recommit myself back to like getting fit i haven't found like a nice gym around me well yeah the gyms that are around here i don't like them and the people don't have good things to say about the gyms and so i i don't want to get myself into anything and then commit myself into anything and then now i'm trapped in it so um and you know doing home exercises like I used to be good at it but now i don't know but there's just something about being consistent now that is difficult for me but anyway i hope that i get it back i'll start with running um i'll do i'll jog and whatever um and then maybe slowly like get myself back into doing um, home workouts i hope that works out for me yo but yeah guys yeah what was what was Ibile, as i'm thinking now i'm remembering i'm i'm well aware i'm well aware that i don't usually complete my sentences when i'm speaking and i was telling my friend the other day get a friend you know when i before i upload my videos i would watch them and i'm realizing how i don't I don't complete my sentences like I'll say something and then like in my head I get another thought to say something and I stop whatever sentence I was like in the middle of and sometimes I diverge like I I don't know I don't know but yeah that's something that I am aware of and I will try to complete my sentences when I'm speaking. Uh, I will try. 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 <laughs> I will try. But yeah, um, I hope this is still recording. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope that you are going to like and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please, guys, do subscribe to the channel. You know, this is this year. Um. You see now it's January. I'm like, okay, so got consistent. Mwaraka January kana kana matwale broke. Kure people are going through a lot. Kaka January mara na like I'm consistent. Like not all my videos are gonna be great, but I mean with every video I'm learning. Or oh actually this is what um this is what 
I like to do this is what I don't like to do this is what the people in my channel like to watch that's the other thing guys please also do say what kind of content like you enjoy watching um, but I don't want to the thing with that is I don't want to post and now I just want to give you guys my authentic self um, be it whatever it is like I don't want to tr come here and try be another creator or you know I just want to be myself I think that way like I I don't put myself under pressure and like I just enjoy doing what I do um, without any pressure so yeah I, I think yeah you guys can suggest what kind of content you want to see um, and if it's something that I feel like resonates with me I will most definitely make videos on that but yeah otherwise i hope you guys are good i hope you guys are well and i hope 2024 is treating you well and i hope that you guys are happy in your lives and i wish for this happiness like it's happiness like from the heart like you know when mudimu is like massaging your heart nicely <laughs> I wish that for everyone i wish you guys can like i wish you guys can win in whatever it is that you've set out for yourself the goals that you have set you have put up for yourselves i hope you achieve those like i am wishing for us w's win 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 and more wins in our lives if you are doing business whatever it is i hope we all win and i hope we all are happy at the end and yeah guys thank you so much for watching the video please do subscribe and yeah don't forget to make those suggestions and like the video and yeah i'll see you guys in my next one bye for now